it's time to draw again. Alice is napping. I used to draw all the time, but now just a nap time. Mostly I draw Alice and things around Alice. I draw on thin paper so I can trace Alice yesterday, Alice tomorrow, and Alice today, joining them together in a symphony of Alice's. I'm not totally obsessed with Alice. I'm also drawing things for my wedding. You know, in case you were wondering. It's on an island in the fall. Meanwhile, Alice dozes in the stroller. And on people like her Uncle Kyle. I make monsters. Out of things I trace. Or strange shapes. Some shapes start out strange anyways. Combined together, they make a dreamland. Alice is strapped down so often when she naps, it looks like we're worried she might float away. And she's too young to tell us where she really goes, what she dreams. Am I boring you? It's just that I'm so in love. Lost in a sea of Alice. All buttons, blankies, lips and lashes. I suppose there are limits to how much of Alice sleeping others might want to see. I find her gorgeous, but maybe that's just me. Could this be a lullaby in line? You feel sleepy? Rest, then. Snooze. Dream. Dream Island Dreams. This is our altar, where we'll say our vows amidst the last of fall's flowers. Friends and family and falling leaves and maybe even seals on the pitted rocks beside the sea. Alice will be there. She'll be able to walk. But she'll have to be carried. She'll be shy. What would it be like to wake up in different places all the time? Would you begin to believe your dreams could transport you? I take Alice with me everywhere, even when I leave her at home. I used to draw all kinds of things before Alice. Right now, she's everything. Well, almost. She's my companion, my responsibility, my muse. In my life, this small person is enormous. Love can seem like a trap, but I have roots now. We're growing together in different ways. Nap time is as important for me as it is for her. One day, she'll have a sister. And when one is just drifting off, the other will be waking. I'll have trouble finding any time to draw at all. 
for a while anyway. In the meantime, we have this time together and apart. Such is the bliss of nap time that I can stay close but have a bit of distance. She's both here and elsewhere, as I am. She's in the dream, and I'm in the drawing. And the drawing starts to look like an impossible window on the dream. Yet, while my eyes travel over every detail, my pen tracing all the changes that I only have time to notice while she sleeps, the actual physical reality of her could not be more tangible. At rest, she is more real to me even as she is at her most doll-like. Quiet and still. I could be drawing a photo of a photo of a figurine, and only I would ever know the truth. But I'm drawing my own little girl, and as hard as I try, I'll never be able to show just how beautiful I find her. Barf, right? But that's how I feel, anyway. I have to stop when she wakes up. Not just because she's my model, but because she needs me. Almost immediately. And she really only needs to be watched when she's awake. In 